What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 Mighty video. And guys, today we do have some new content as per usual, man. Um, so yeah, the content's decent. We're going to have a market talk. Before we get into the video, if you guys could please smash that like button and drop the sub, bro. We're so close to 10K. And honestly, bro, if you're a sub, you're a new sub, drop that in the comments. I want the comment section blown up on this video. We got some empty making methods for you guys. We got some market talk. We got all that good stuff. So yeah, um, pretty much this video is just going to be everything put together. Make sure to follow my Twitter as well. Um, we're buying, selling MT. We're also doing a giveaway soon, bro. Once we get 10K, we'll have a big giveaway. So make sure to smash that sub button. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into the video. So first off, man, I made so much MT off these contracts. Um, if you guys were sniping them, I was getting them for 7k, 8k, and they're going for around 11, 10. So, like, if you guys want to make some quick MT, this is actually a really good method. Not only that, for 10k, if you guys are struggling with contracts, this is a really good way to just buy these contracts, chill out, let your player, like, put them on your players, bro. Like, you have Opals that you're not going to sell. Like, I have Kareem, I have Giannis. And honestly, I'm looking to put them. I put some contracts on them because, bro, I literally will show you all my snipes I've gotten in the last 24 hours. Here they are. I'll literally show you every single one. These were all within an hour or less. Literally, all these snipes came in within 30 minutes. Yeah, Devin Booker. Oh, yeah, so bonus too. Oh, wait, you want to see my auctions? Oh, yeah, these are all snipes. I'm not capping. I swear. I literally swear. The only one I could say that aren't a snipe is Magic and Kareem. Everything else here were snipes. Everything. Every single one were snipes. We got a very special gameplay for you guys later. Um, a very special gameplay. So make sure to stay tuned for that. It's something very interesting that you guys should like. Um, but yeah. Um, if you guys do know, they did drop this new buzzer beater content. Personally, I'm going to pop a pack for you. Um, really the worst content. I mean, they're just four players. Um, the packs are trash. I haven't pulled nothing from these packs. Like, they're trash. I pulled four so far. Stay away. Um, if you guys really want a good snipe filter for Opals, I'll tell you one. Opal buzzer beater. Because, honestly, there's no buyout buzzer beaters. They're kind of rare. Now, if you do end up getting this Blake Griffin, that's a huge, huge W. Comparing him to our Spotlight one that we got for free. It's just, like, kind of disrespect that we actually got a free Blake Griffin that's trash. Um... They really just hate us as a community. They gave us this, bro. This is the worst Pink Diamond card I've ever seen. Pink Diamond Blake is straight doo-doo. Um, the upgrade from 97 to Opal is stupid. I don't understand how they can make a Pink Diamond this bad or not even update them. But yeah, they managed to do so. But whatever, guys. Let's get into some Snipe Filters. Let's get into some Methods. So, as you guys do know, Diamond Filter is pretty good. But like I said, bro, diamond contracts are going to be key. Why do I say this? Because, bro, they're in the, what's it called? They're in the challenges. So everybody's going to get them. Everyone's going to put them up for snipes. People are stupid. They're going to put up all those contracts for around 7 to 6K. You're going to make a ton of MT that way. Not only that, like I said, if you have OP cards, Opals, even Pink Diamonds, you could throw those contracts on them if you want. But yeah, I would recommend putting your filter to like 10.5 to see if stuff actually do pop up. It was definitely better yesterday. But yeah, like I said, some cards you also want to pay attention to because <clears throat> they were in the game. Oh my God, 307K. What? What the hell? Are you serious? No way. My Giannis point guard is around that price. Hold up. So Giannis, if you have Giannis, bro, make sure to go sell him because what is going on? Point guard Giannis, 509k. Oh boy. So if you guys have some Giannis's, now is the time to throw them up. I actually got mine on a little snipe for 400k. I bid it 480, got 50k back. So I got him for 430. I got my Giannis for 430. He's up a lot. So if you want to sell your Giannis's, bro. But yeah, like I said, this filter you want to pay attention to. 
to make MT, if you have these cards, it's even better. Because, <clears throat> first off, if you get any of these cards for a buyout, Giannis, Kawhi, whatever, you're going to make a lot of MT. So I would recommend scrolling through this. I doubt anybody is sitting on this filter. Um, so yeah, this filter is going to be good. You have a chance of getting Zion. You have a chance of getting Giannis and Kawhi. If you get Giannis and Kawhi, you're going to make a lot of MT. As you can see, that Giannis is at 300,000 MT. 300,000! That Giannis is not even at range extender. Um, but yeah, so definitely sit on this filter. If you guys have your spotlight sims, also, man, how do I not say this? Make sure to sell your cards because, bro, when they drop weak content like this, beggar content always pops up. So I think Prime's definitely this week. Hopefully Thursday and then Friday they got more content. But, yo, if you did invest in the spotlight sim filter, it's time to sell. Um, like I said, Tony Snell did ruin the filter, but if you did end up getting him for 6k, you're gonna make a little bit of MT. He did rise up to 8, you're gonna make at least a thousand MT off each card, so kind of cool in that case. But yeah, he's looking like he was around 6k, 5k, he's around 8k. So if you ended up did listening to my method, it kind of did work, even though he did end up destroying the filter. If you invested in Zellers and Grayson Allen's. They actually went up a lot. I made a lot of MT. I sold every one of them. I sold Grayson Allen. I sold Zellers. As you can see, bro, all these cards are all gone. I sold most of my investments. Now it's time to move on to the diamond contracts to make a lot of MT. And honestly, it's a really good idea. That allows her to sell for 176. Oh, wow. Say goodbye because he is out of packs. So I'm going to put up my Lonzo right now for 100K. Stack them out for 99K on the dot. Going to make a solid 50K in a minute. So... <clears throat> Yeah, definitely try out that. I was sitting on Opal, what's it called? Opal Flash 5 because I was trying to get Shaq. It's so hard to get Shaq. And not only that, <clears throat> the Opal filter is almost back in action. We got the Caruso and the Trey all gone as well. Interesting stuff, bro. So yeah, I don't know if it's different on PS4, but this is interesting, bro. If this filter comes back to life, we're back in business. We're going to make a ton of MT because think about how many Opals are up, bro. If we see a Blake Griffin Opal, I actually missed a Clyde earlier. I don't know why I didn't take a screenshot. I literally swear to God I missed a Clyde. Like, no lie. I missed him for 100K within the first couple minutes he dropped. Biggest L ever. But, bro, this Opal filter's back. Only problem is if it is continuing to scroll, it is kind of going to get ruined because you really can't, like, I don't know. You really can't scroll and get a snipe. Kids are going to be on every snipe filter. There's millions of people that play this game. So, it is going to be tough. But Obo Filter is almost back on Xbox. It's probably not the same on PS4. But I just wanted to put that out. And also, I want to talk about one thing. Um, I think there's more Kobe's coming. If you guys don't know, my team did drop. Like, they changed their trailer. So, their trailer is actually... Uh, a ha not their trailer. Their bio, their bio banner has extra slots. If you want to go check it out, just go check it out. Go on NBA 2K20, my team Twitter. And honestly, they have a ton of slots. They have a pink diamond Kobe all the way to the right. And then they have a ton of slots open for new cards. I think it's Kobe. I think an Opal Kobe is coming. A lot of people are think, definitely thinking Opal Kobe. I'm one of them. Also, before we do end this video, one more filter for you guys. To make a lot of MT is pink diamond glitched. Oh, forget it. Ben Wallace ruined the filter. So if you want to buy Ben Wallace and enable it, you have a really good chance of getting Giannis and or LeBron to make a lot of MT. I'll show you their prices. Like I said, bro, Giannis is up at its max, max value. 509000 with a limited contract with 52 minutes left. I might have to sell mine. I don't want to sell mine, but if he's that expensive and there's only a couple left on the market. Like if you have Giannis, this is the most expensive card in the game besides Shaq. Yeah, he's definitely one of the best cards. But yo, you're talking about two hours like there's none on the auction like this is a great time to sell Giannis and honestly yeah that's really all I got for the video just some tips just some little tips hope you guys enjoyed sit on that Abby filter let me know how it is it's just a lot of tips that you guys need to know we got a sweet sweet gameplay after this video hope you guys did enjoy stay tuned for more content drop the sub while we guys are driving go up